Hi there, this is Callum, your Learning Support Officer for the Business School. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can add a label in Moodle. Um, labels are really handy, we can use them for just, basically it just allows you to dump a bit of text onto the central column in your Moodle area. So you can see here, this picture and um, this text here is uh, part of a label. Um, further down, I've got kind of big blocks. Again, here we've got a, an image and some text there, which is a label. Um, now, I'm not going to demonstrate how we add an image. Um, you, there is a video called How to Display an Image in Moodle on our YouTube site. Um, you can have a look at that and it explains in a bit more detail how we do that. Um, what I will explain is how we add a label in, um, just to give you a quick tip about the HTML text editor that we have. And then I'm also going to look at how we can set up these headings in the grey box area as well. Um, so first of all, how to add a label. So I'm going to turn editing on just by clicking turn editing on in the top uh, right hand corner. And in a second, we'll get our tools pop out. So you'll see that now we have all the little icons for each of the bits we've added already. And we've got the add a resource and add an activity drop down menus. Okay, so to add a label, I'm just going to click on add a resource and I'm going to select insert a label. And if I click on that, what we get is essentially our basic kind of Moodle interface. Um, for developing new resources um, but all we get is we get this one text box so I'm going to just put in um, hello this this is a demo text box um, this is some text okay now there's lots of bits and pieces we can do here we can add web links um, um, we can align text. One of the main bits, which is uh, handy here, is we can change the style of our text by where it says normal, there's a drop down menu, and we can change that to heading one, and that will boost the size up. Um, we can also stick it into heading two. Um, we can also add italics, underlining, well, uh, the basic tools that you can add in um, Word. Um, a quick tip, if you are copying uh, text from Word, Word tends to stick in lots of bits and pieces of kind of information that Moodle doesn't really need in the Cody bit behind it. Um, if you do import text, what to do is select all the text by hitting Ctrl A or just dragging down all the text. And then there's this clean Word HTML button here, which if you click that, it will just change it into Moodle styles and make it so that you can kind of work with it a lot more easily in Moodle. It won't do anything that you don't expect. It won't kind of show the um, text to be really big and green when you didn't set it to do that. Um, a couple other quick buttons here which are handy is there's this toggle HTML source, which if we click that, it goes into this HTML code. For anyone that's kind of savvy enough to be using HTML code, that can be handy. Um, also, this is a really small window to work in, so if we click on this arrow, then it will just enlarge the space we have to work with as well, so we can um, start to work in a bit of a bigger window. Um, but for now, that's all I'm going to put into my label. And at the bottom of the page, I'm just going to hit save and return to course. And when Moodle ticks over, I'll just scroll down and you can see that now we have this bit of text that's been placed in. Okay, so that's how we just add in our text. Um, the other bit that I was going to look at is how we get these grey text boxes. Now, Underneath each of the headings that we have um, for our weeks and topics, we have this little pen icon. Now, I'll just snip down to one just below here, which isn't in a grey box, which is uh, my basics and essentials. I can tell that it's the kind of heading for the week because it's below that yellow bar, but above this little pen. Now, within this area, it's almost like a label that's built into the top of the page. So if I go in and click on this edit summary, you can see that I've actually got this set as heading three. Now, within the you know, the label for the start of the week or topic the, now it's only within these ones if we set this to heading two you'll see that there it makes it a little bit bigger but if we save our changes then when we go back into the Moodle page you'll see it's actually placed it within this grey box and in the standard font now that's a very visible clear um, way that we can display the topics to our students so it's it's a good one it's one that we uh, definitely promote using. Um, okay, so that's essentially that's how we add a basic label and then also how we manipulate that label just at the top of the topic as well. Okay.